Hey everybody, excuse the background noise. There's construction going on outside and I'm, I got the balcony door open. So I'm back from Arkansas. So the trip, I would give like a five out of 10. Um, I spoke to my girlfriend about me not coming back. I won't be going back to Arkansas. And let me tell you the reasons why. Cause one, I felt like I was lied to and her family, promised to show me a good time and end up not doing that. I, it's like they treated me like I only deserve one day of fun and the rest of the day to be boring. I didn't do shit. Stayed in the house for the rest of the week until my last day being there. And I finally met some of her family members on the last day of me being there. And I can say that some of her family I like, I get along with, some of them like me. But for the most part, I think the rest of them are very shady. And one person in particular pretty much played me. But the whole time, it's like she was being a shady woman. And I'm going to try to say this without calling somebody a bitch or anything like that. But read between the lines. When somebody's trying to act very messed up towards you, shady, and you didn't do shit to them, and all you trying to do is connect with them, get get along with them, get to know them, and they want to act like they don't want to be bothered with you. That's what you call being shady. And you know me, I'm always spitting the truth out whenever something's being said to me or done to me. So I'm not going to lie. Everything was kind of fine until her family members started to funny. And then she started looking at me the wrong way. I don't know it's because I, you know, was communicating with her boyfriend or whatever like that. But it was like, when we get together, we was at um, lunch. We went to lunch together twice. And her boyfriend, for the most part, was really nice. You know, which is refreshing because not a lot of people is very open to me and new peoples. But for the most part, I feel like every time I try to connect with this woman she will back away or she will shut down she'll put a wall up um i've been nothing but nice to her i've been trying to start conversations joking around with her we even play cards together and from what she was telling me that we was going to be drinking going to the bars you know going to different places all this stuff she was spitting to me i thought it was a great idea i thought okay this trip will be fun but it turned out to be the worst trip ever. And I did learn my lesson from being up there is to never complain about my city or being bored in my city ever again because at least my city got more excitement going on than Arkansas. There was nothing to really do up there. And I felt like anybody that lives in Arkansas is most likely retired or just want to live a slow life. It is not for city peoples like us. If you're looking to do something inside it, that's not the place to go. And, you know, as much as I would like to keep visiting my girlfriend, it was not going to happen. And I was trying to get her to come up here. And it looks like she's not planning on coming to New York either. So the best way I can do is just let her go. Now, I know they're going to be watching this video. And that's fine by me. But it is what it is. Because one... I am not going to keep sacrificing and keep um, giving and giving to somebody and they don't get back. If I'm coming to see you, I'm expecting for you to come see me. That's only right. Especially if you're trying to date me and try to marry me. And then on top of that, the ring she gave me was not real. I checked, I got it checked out and I felt like she was trying to embarrass the shit out of me. And on top of that, I feel like a part of her really don't want to be with me. Because if you did, if she did want to be with me, she would do everything she can to come up here and be with me. And then on top of that, you wouldn't be giving me no fake ass engagement ring. I'm glad only one person seen it. Like, well, not one. But a, a lot of people see my ring on social media, but not out here in person. And I hate to, like, be the one to feel embarrassed. But, yeah, I am kind of embarrassed about it. Because I'm going around celebrating my relationship with this woman, bragging about her, letting people know, like, hey, I found somebody new. I found somebody that I can click with. And 
you know someone to be happy with and all it was just bullshit and it was a lie and then on top of that it's like I'm not gonna destroy her character but I'm just saying what she tried to do was really messed up and then the, the fact that you're not even trying to come up here because it's one thing to make an effort but when she's saying that she's not coming up here no time soon I already read between that line like okay she's not coming up here no time soon that she's trying to make it seem like money is an issue I was trying to get her to come up here for my birthday because y'all know my birthday is in July and she's not going to be able to see me on my birthday she says she don't think she's going to be able to come up here she says she's not going to be coming up here for the summer and those are two different things and I'm disappointed with both of those things so how you expect to have a relationship with somebody if you're not planning to come and see them no time soon ever again or you're not even coming up here period it's like and then you keep making excuses after excuses we already know what that means everybody in the world know what that means a person that keeps finding excuses to not come to see you is a person that don't want to see you and she don't want to tell me the truth to my face but I already know what it is you don't want this relationship you thought the relationship was going to be fun it was going to be good in her mind she thinks of all rainbows and glittery skies and unicorns and I'm over here trying to be realistic about it all because I'm like if we ever decide to get serious you know are we going to keep making trips back and forth to see each other and then she proposed to me and then we had a conversation after she proposed to me and she was like well I guess I'm coming to New York I, I gotta move to New York then she tried to convince me to come to her city again not only to visit again but to move so I told her hell no I will swallow a bag of rocks and nails before I even go back over there it's not the city for me first of all the way my life is I could never last long down there it's super boring down there and then she complains about the fucking weather and the way she was so dramatic on the last day of me being there was like oh my god she's about to die if she stays outside for another minute or hour and we was only outside for like 45 minutes we wasn't even outside for that long so I'm like okay as I'm keeping time an hour goes by she's complaining she complains every second of the fucking day about the weather about everything money weather everything and I'm like instead of you living in a moment and enjoying your day with me or your week with me you just rather want to complain I cannot stand that in a person like that's my biggest pet peeve is somebody who doesn't want to put in the work who doesn't put in the effort and then I saw a question on Instagram that I answered saying Mm. Not only what's your biggest pet peeve, but what would end the relationship real quick? Or what's a turn off about a person? And I was like, not making the effort, procrastinating, making excuses, and being lazy. Because that would surely quickly make somebody not want to date you anymore. So sad to say, I won't be pursuing this anymore. Um, this engagement is non-existent we're not getting married and as far as I'm concerned I am still single okay and there's nothing she could do about it because there's nothing that she wants to do about it now do I feel bad for her yeah because she would spend the rest of her life in Arkansas living the way she's living and being upset and I tried to talk to her as many times as I could, but you can't keep, you know, how you say, it? you can't keep going at it and keep beating a horse to death because it is what it is. When the person says something, believe it. So, yeah. I'm in New York and I'm happy to be in New York. I'm happy to live here because with all these opportunities out here, how can you like go wrong with it and why would you want to leave New York City New York City is a place to be right and then on top of that I am not settling for less 
Ain't no way I, be, I was put on this earth to just settle for less. I'm giving myself everything that I ever wanted. And if it means leaving people alone, cutting people out of my life, so be it. But I don't care. Because I'm sick and tired of having to keep negotiating and keep talking to people's and keep getting through to people's. And at the end of the day, it's pointless. I'm not getting nowhere. They're not going to, you know, comply. They're not going to do anything. They're not going to, um, like I say, it's like if you're not willing to be there with me and to live your life here with me, then it's fine. I'm not one to force anybody to do anything. They don't want to leave. They don't have to leave. Okay. And that's that. So there you go. I wish I could say this trip was amazing, but it wasn't. It was more like a life lesson. And I felt like I was in jail being in Arkansas.